Welcome back to The Breakfast. Uh, it's uh, 7th of December and every year it is celebrated as the International Civil Aviation Day. Uh, this started all the way back in 1994, but it was officially recognized by the United Nations in 1996 um, as part of um, the 50th anniversary back then of the ICAO, which is the International Civil Aviation Organization. Um, the purpose really is to help generate and enforce a reinforced worldwide awareness of the importance of international civil aviation to the social and economic development of the states and to countries and to um, humanity generally. The theme um, I'll also quickly mention would be advancing innovation for global aviation development and this theme is going to be running from 2019 to 2023. Um, it's a great time to discuss you know the International Civil Aviation Day in the year 2020 mostly mm -hmm. because of the damage that COVID-19 has done to the aviation industry and the aviation sector right. um, and so uh, yeah, but before we get to, um, well, there's plenty to talk whole about post-COVID-19 when it comes to the aviation industry. But uh, just to give you a bit of fun facts about uh, the um, international uh, civil aviation, um, we'll start with the KLM Royal Dutch Airlines. It is known as the world's oldest airline, and it was established in 1990, 1919. <laughs> I was going to say 1990. Uh, 1919, uh, while the second oldest airline, uh, Qatar's, uh, was established in 1920. Um, I, I mentioned, I've been repeating it, um, for traveling by air can shed up to 1.5 liters of water from the body during an average three-hour flight. So for those that are looking to reduce their weight or their mass, their body mass, I don't know how the obsession these Should days... <laughs> they should fly more. <laughs> um, okay, we also have an aircraft takes off or lands every 37 seconds. That's quite astonishing. I found that astonishing. That's why I'm sharing with you. An aircraft takes off or lands every 37 seconds at Chicago O'Hare International um, Airport. Um, we also know that... <laughs> This is one that blew my mind. I know some persons already know it, but I just found out um, recently a Boeing 747 jumbo jet weighs as much as 67 typical African elephants. elephants. Yes, I've seen that, I've seen that before. So. I, uh, so how does it stay in the air? Well, it's, uh, it's, that's it's the technology, the beauty it's, of it's, um, yeah. engineering and technology. Um, the Ward Airport itself dates back to the 1780s when it meant a ventilation window in a ship. If, if you, there's a similarity in the shape of the aircraft and that of the ship as well. So fair uh, connection. Um, we also have this one that I find uh, interesting. The world's smallest commercial runway is on the Caribbean island of Saba. It is only 400 meters long and is too petite for jet airliners. And then what is now routine? This is the one that I just, I kept smiling about is um, the internet online check-in was first used not so long ago in Alaskan Airlines in 1999. So what is now routine for all of us wasn't always the case. Online. Some people were not, didn't start flying when they had to do the manual kind of ticketing. Yeah. They had to do it, everything online. So uh, it started sometime not so long ago in 1999. I was already out of secondary school at that time, so yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> and so today, once again, we're celebrating the International Civil Aviation Day. Um, if you have uh, been a, an active flyer, um, not because you're from Edo State, but because you actually um, you know, get to the airport or book online and take a plane to different places. It's a day to appreciate how much aviation has brought into our world um, for many, many, many years, you know, and how it, it has also made business easier. It has made communication easier. It has made, you know, our world a smaller place in its own very special way, um, um, always. It is still um, the safest form of travel, mm -hmm. um, even if 
you know, I still have my panic attacks every single time. No matter how many times I'm in the air, mm -hmm. I still have those panic attacks. But still is the safest way to travel. And it's a, it's, it's a day also to reflect on what COVID-19 has truly done to the aviation sector. It uh, basically grounded that sector for many, many months. Yeah. And as they try to get back on their feet and pick up, you know, from where they, they left off, uh, we want to wish everyone who is a part of the aviation sector the very best. The airlines who had to fire Yes. And a lot of their staff had to cut down staff, couldn't pay salaries for, for, for months. Um, and uh, um, those who didn't receive any government bailouts also, we, we have them in mind this morning. So 100% hike in price. That's yes. what we saw this morning um, in the papers. Um, but let, let's, let's bring it closer home. Generally, we all can um, attest to the importance of the aviation industry. Uh, but in Nigeria, where are we? Um, what's our background? Some say uh, the aviation industry in Nigeria is over 90 years. Some say it is about 70 plus years. However long it is, we know it started uh, somewhere um, in Kanu. Yes, it started somewhere in uh, Kanu. Um, some put it at um, November 1, 1925. That's when uh, it started. Uh, let me see if I can just... Uh, um, aviation in Nigeria began when... An RAF fighter aircraft from Khartoum landed on a race course in Kanu in 1925. Um, it was a historic moment for Kanu and uh, Nigeria generally. Uh, but then, we, till date, we have the debt of modern infrastructure. Um, somebody made a fun, um, a joke of how she had uh, boarding pass was reaching yeah, in saw pen. That. This is 2020. Her boarding pass was reading. Um, in pen because there was no uh, printer uh, to print it. Um, we also uh, talk about um, uh, the challenges. I was I, I went to look for you know some of the challenges because if you're not in an industry, you really wouldn't be able to talk about it until uh, you're looking at it from the person's perspective. It would have been amazing if we had somebody in the aviation um, um, uh, industry this morning uh, to just rub minds with and look at some of the challenges, some of the issues that they raised um, that I saw um, is the effect of some government policies on how they operate on uh, how they get access to um, the airline, the, the, the airports, uh, the, how they run their businesses generally. Um, we also have uh, somebody described as an unemployment level in the aviation uh, industry. That is not even a question now, post COVID-19. We know that hundreds of people, employees across the globe, not just in Nigeria, has lost, um, have lost uh, their, their jobs. jobs. We know Airpiece, for instance, that um, over 30 people, if not more, just uh, a couple of days ago, there were, we know that there were salary slashes everywhere, not just in the aviation industry. <laughs> yeah, but but it's um it's um it's a day to to celebrate them, all right. Let's. Uh, I don't want. I, I don't think I want to focus a lot on you know the the sad parts of it. It's a day mm -hmm. to celebrate them. It's a day you know where you know we also should find ways that we can support our local airlines. Um, and of course, if you can um, fly, Ibom Air, please fly, Ibom so Air. we can you can protect one job at least. Yeah. If you can fly, if you can't, well, take the road. That's what you can do. But if you can, just fly. Give them something to do. So. Uh, they stay um, robots. They will pick up. We'll all get out of this, be stronger and better. Um, all industries, the economy across the globe is affected by the pandemic. So it's not uniquely uh, the aviation um, um, industry. And uh, this year is peculiar because they can't change the theme for this year. It was, it, they do it every four. Uh, four, years. four years. So the one that was used uh, the, for this period, um, like uh, Osagi said earlier, is advancing innovation for global aviation uh, development. Uh, that's the conversation around which events will be held across the world to mark this day. So that's something we needed to bring uh, to your attention today. It's uh, International Aviation Day. Um, well done to everybody that made flying easier, made life easier for all of us. Stay Hello, us hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.